In any habitat, food is limited and the types of food available may vary, so animals that are better adapted to take advantage of those food sources will fare better than those who are not. Those that live on um, are able to pass their genes on to the next generation. And Sanders is the biological evolution of unity and diversity. Um, construct explanations for how differences in characteristics provide an advantage to some individuals in the same species in surviving. Our inquiry question is how does a bird's beak help or hinder their survival? So, my inquiry for our Battle of the Beaks experiment is which type of beak would be most successful at adapting to the rice habitat? And I'm testing tweezers, a binder clip, and a spoon. And then the cup acts as our bird's belly to catch all the food that I get. And my claim is, I believe that the tweezers will be the best beak in obtaining the most rice, which represents an insect in this environment. So now, for the tweezers, I'm able to pick up a couple of grains of rice each time I go in to get them. Right now I just got one. You have to be really precise with these, so two. So one or two each time. With the binder clip. I can get a lot it would be trickier in a habitat because of all the holes and you have to have a right surface in order to get these otherwise you wouldn't really be able to obtain food with them. And then for my spoons, I'm able to grab at least maybe 10 grains each time I do it, even on a flat surface, and it seems to be the most accurate. So, my evidence shows that the binder clip and spoon are the most successful, so I'm going to test these again. So with my spoon, I get all those, and then with my binder clip, I get a lot more. So definitely the binder clip beak wins in this inquiry. My inquiry question is which type of habitat, seeds, beetles, or insects will best fit a tweezer beak bird? My claim is I believe seed habitat will best fit the needs for, of survival for a tweezer beak bird. Um, I'm going to test this by beginning with our insects. This is my bird's stomach and I'm going to time, I'm going to give myself 10 seconds to see how many I can pick up with my tweezer beak. Next, I'm gonna, going to be testing the macaroni noodles, which represents our beetles. So I'm gonna start the time. Uh. Done. Next, I'm going to be testing the seeds. Let me start the time. Here are my results. So we're going to start with the um, paper clip stomach, which represented insects. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight insects. Now in my beetle stomach, I have only four beetles. And in my seed stomach, I have only three seeds. So the evidence shows that the tweezer beak bird is most successful in a habitat with insects. Okay, so my inquiry question is which food would a scissor beak need to adapt to to obtain survival in a habitat with worms or beetles? So the rubber bands are going to act as my worms and my macaroni is going to be my beetles and the cups will be the stomach of my bird. And my scissors are my beak.
pasta. So my results show that you got one, two, three, four, five, six worms with the scissor beak and one, two, three, four beetles with the scissor beak. So the worms went 